Let me now show you uh, one of the features that has evolved between 2019, let's say, and 20, and latest version or from 2019, which is the contact. Uh, especially, we unified across all solvers uh, the contact generation through this contact browser. So you can find it under the model ribbon contact. You have the first top icon, which is for manually creating surfaces, pairs, or properties. You have one satellite icon for generating auto automatically the contact, and you have a second uh, satellite icon to populate the contact browser. So right now in the contact browser, you retrieve the components, your sets, all the sets in the model, and you can either use the icon on top or the right click create. What, why I wanted to show you uh, from the right click is that you will see that for your contact surfaces, you retrieve your different abacus surfaces, same for contact properties. And if you want to create a contact pair or a contact tie or a general contact, you can do it from the bottom section. Let me first start with auto contact, um, the basic one. So first requirement, select your components. Then you have um, the tolerance for checking for the contact. It could be proximity tolerance or shell thickness if you're dealing with 2D. So in your case, it would be proximity tolerance. I set a value of 1.5. Then you have a feature angle, uh, which is um, up to which angle um, neighbor elements are considered to be part of the same face. So, which means if you have two neighbor elements with an angle of 31, they are not belonging to the same place anymore. One significant parameter here is the consolidate, do not consolidate and extend to fit surfaces to features. Um, and this third one will work in combination with the feature angle. So let me use the consolidate to start with, and I will show later the effect of the two other ones. You can ask either for contact or tie. You can ask either for element or not based surface. And you can even ask for the contact surface name prefix. These are the most common options. There are some of extra of them, but I won't preview them right now. I will just hit on create and just look at what is created in the browser. You see, see extra um, contact surfaces here, and also there are three um, contact pairs that have been created. So if you look at this model, you have this one, this one here. Uh, if you have a better visualization, you can even hit on review, and you will see your selection and um, this one. Review. So. Here I use the consolidate before going further. Let me uh, just minimize my window and show you the difference with the do not consolidate and um, the extended features. So if you look at the do not consolidate, the number of contact pairs here has increased significantly. The reason why is because the yellow component here is um, done with multiple separated parts, let's say. So instead of having one single contact pair between all the yellow parts and the red part, you have one contact pair for each yellow versus the red one. So this is the reason why you have an extension. <clears throat> so this is what uh, do not consolidate um, brings compared to consolidate. Extend to features go a little bit further because uh, if you go to extend to features, it will select all elements who, ha who, are sti who are below the feature angle. So it will, for this example, it would take all the faces. So maybe not the most uh, interesting one for this case, but if you have a curved components, um, with cut or cut angles, maybe that would be worth exp um, exploring this option. So I hope it is more clear now with this uh, comparison between the three. Let me come back to the first model, the first automatic selection uh, with consolidate. Let me extend it again. 
And let me focus on uh, isolated text components, this one. And let's say that I'm not completely satisfied with the selection and for any reason, I don't know, I would like to add some elements because it seems um, it, they are missing some elements to me. How I can do it, you see that uh, we have the attribute of the contact pair at the bottom with the main and the secondary entities and you can at any time edit it so you retrieve this pop-up you can pick your elements here and you can say okay i can left click for picking entities or i can even shift click shift plus left click for removing them and once you're done you just have to validate so let me now show you how to create manually um, the contact. So you could decide from the contact here to create first the surfaces, then the pairs, um, and add properties if needed. What I like to show is I start creating the contact pair and directly from the main entities here I can right click, um, say that I want to create them, it will be a surface element and I can select my elements, I can select my faces, so I can hit Alt, for instance, plus left click to go to get all my faces on this component, validate, and then I will go here to the component selection in order to hide this one, H, um, I can also select the contact surface, uh, sorry, not the context of it, it will be set. Hide it so that I just have these entities, and then what I can do is to uh, secondary entities also create them. And what I do and what I want to do is to have the surface elements. So if I hit Alt here, I will just have this face. So, how to extend it quickly? What I can do is to select all the elements on the bottom face and then you shift for having everything that does not and here I have my selection validate um, if I have any other um, option I can select them uh, you see all the different options that you have your, in your, into your Habakkus contact settings and here's my contact is done, I can review it and here it is.